This is Coogan Cassius for iFilm London. We're in Liverpool here at the Hilton Hotel for the press conference. Derry Matthews versus Anthony Crawler this Saturday night. Uh, with me, I've got Anthony Crawler. How are you, Anthony? I'm good, Coogan. Thanks, you. I'm very well. I know you were just on your way out. I've just pulled you back in, so I'll, I'll, I'll keep it short. Um, good to speak to you guys. Thank you very much. Um, the rematch. The fans wanted it. It's now happening. You've done all the talking um, today in the press conference. Even though you was a bit late, these things happen. But um, you ready, Anthony? I'm more than ready. Um, I've had a great camp. I'm just excited now for Saturday night. It's, um, I've waited almost 12 months for this rematch. I've got it now, and now I've got the opportunity. I can't let it slip. I've got to go on there on Saturday and put on a good performance. You're going to have a lot of support from Manchester, but you're more than expecting a hostile environment in Liverpool, obviously. Of course, yeah, I've got fantastic support. Absolutely blessed with and took back by the support that I've been getting from Manchester but I'm under no illusions on Saturday night I'm going to be the bad guy I'm coming into um, a hostile reception but um, once that bell goes it's just me and Derry it doesn't matter if there's um, 10,000 Liverpoolians or 100,000 Liverpoolians it's just me and him they're a great fight city they get behind their own so he will get a brilliant reception but like I say that won't matter for much once the bell goes you know, I saw you guys on ringside a couple of weeks ago, and um, you could tell. You listen, you you believe you're going to win. He believes you're going to win. So that's an obvious thing, obviously. But you know, there is a little bit of respect for each other, and you know. Yeah, of course. I mean, if if we didn't have any respect for each other after the first fight, then some of the tears to be wrong because you know we had a bit of a brutal fight first time out, and that's what um, we both were expecting this time. But it's just a job, isn't it? As I always say, it's nothing personal, just a job. Just finally, without elaborating too much, yeah. does Twitter sometimes it get just a bit overhyped with things going oh, on? Of course, listen, um, things get said on both sides. I've, like I say now, this fight week, Joe's barred me off Twitter from like a week ago. So um, I'll, I'll just put the odd tweet on now, just you know, thanking people for support and stuff, and maybe just releases like this just um, in the build to it. But I've not been on Twitter now for the past week, but it's, it's a great way to speak to the fans, obviously. You get good and bad from both from both sides. It's just one of those things. As long as I'm not disrespecting anyone, that's all I'm that's all I'm bothered about. And more importantly, have you got hat hair underneath your hat? Well and truly. I've I've got a bit of a well, don't need a shave like but a bit of a rocky thing. Got a bit of a, a wig underneath here, so by Friday for the weigh in, it'll be cut nice and sharp. All right, well, listen, Anthony, thank you very much for coming back in to talk to me. I know you always give us your time anyway, so good luck. Saturday night, we're really looking forward to it as a fan, look, really looking forward to the rematch, so good luck. Thanks, Coogan. Nice one, mate. Look thank you very much.